Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about setting up rules for internal fields and how you can apply that to all your channels and basically just across the board if you're advertising internationally you can apply that to all your different countries to which you're advertising to so you don't have to do this 101 times. So basically once you have a title that you that you're happy with you can go under here to where it says create a new internal field and click that now oh so okay so we ran into a quick issue here now this is fine that is because we're already using something that has an internal field so I actually think brand is part of the internal field yes so we can't use this title but let's say we're using uh, let's for another example here so we will say we'll just use color option for the time being and we'll put that all the way at the top and we'll go on ahead and click this little duplication button which is actually to create a new internal field we'll click that and it's still yeah we still have title here so let's click on color color option and if the color option already doesn't include blue so let's say it's blue 109 jeans size option so if it doesn't already include uh, the color blue then it will add it will make this new title so we can set up a new internal field and basically call this internal field uh, color or title title with color and create that new internal field so now every time that we go to create this new title we can just go under internal fields and then we'll have title with color which will make it 10 times but 10 times easier for us to do this when we have to do it for say five or six different countries so that's just something to keep in mind guys and so yeah once you do that you will get your cleaned up title in pretty much every time you select that new internal field you'll get your cleaned up title and you can basically do that the same thing with all these even the optional field you can do that with color down here you can create an internal field out of that and yeah yeah guys you can do all of that good stuff so yeah that's pretty much it here guys and going forward we're going to be talking about including and excluding products which will be fast and also categorizing these products which will be a fairly quick process as well so guys i hope you guys understand this there's, there's a lot of options here we just went over a title and messed around with these these different options we had here and we set up a, an optional field but you know you can the possibilities are pretty much endless with this guys so just mess around with this you know use it try to find to see if you can if you can uh take advantage of it just so that your products are shown and they they look better on the google shopping feed so guys thank you for watching and in the next video as i said including excluding products and categorizing so see you guys in the next one